not gonna believe this. This is Jason's first beer of the cruise. And it's a gold. like at least once a cruise. I know. Be great for people to enjoy, you know? But, yeah. So we have been Cheers. Cheers. Um yeah, water. We have been water working very hard today. We have done ship tour and cabin tours and a haven tour and we had I went to a presentation where I learned a few things, you know, being a travel agent, I have to learn some stuff. And we, yeah, the seafood was pretty cool. And we were, we were kind of bummed to learn that that's not an annual or a weekly occurrence on the ship because that would have been pretty stinking cool. But so far, it's been a great day. It is at 4.30. And we are going to dinner at Teppanyaki at 6 time. Yeah, we've never had Teppanyaki before. Yeah, so the guy's going to be there with the big chef's hat and spatula doing like kung fu cooking style. Kung fu cooking style. That's going to be cool. All kind of cool tricks. That's fun. And then we've got Choir of Man at 10 p.m. And we'll figure out something in between. This is my first time accessing the district brew house from our private entrance. Our private entrance. Here's our hallway from our cabin. Just before just before dinner, Alicia said, where do you want to go? I says, well, we haven't been to the district brew house yet and had a beer. So that's what we're going to do. No, we're not. Push. Oh, push. <laughs> Sit at the bar. Go look at the bottles, honey. Yeah, I have her left. This is serious business right here. And here's what we do have on tap. Where the golden monkey comes from. Or where we, the last time we got a golden monkey was in Animal Kingdom at, uh, Oh yeah, I do remember the golden Animal monkey. Kingdom. And it's got, um, almost 10%. 9.5. Yes. It's got 9.5% alcohol. Wow. I do remember that beer. It's from where? Pennsylvania. It's from Pennsylvania. This is the bottle. This is the bottle. This is the Golden Monkey. This is the one that we always get um, when we go to Animal Kingdom. There's a certain place that I like to go when we go to Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. This is the beer I always get. And let me tell you what. One's not enough and three's too many. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That's a good beer, my friend. It's good. That is a fantastic beer. A lot, a lot of flavor. A lot mm -hmm. of, it's got some spices. Spices, yeah, you're right. That's just spices. Yeah, it's got a lot of spices in it. Very good. I love that you can sample the beers here. It's more on like a filter side of this. Because mostly for the... Filter side, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, oh. What I mean to say is uh, most of the wheat beer is actually unfiltered, right? Right. But this one is uh, filtered. Okay. When you look at the color, it's... It's got an interesting smell, aroma to it. Um, 
Mmm. Wow, it's amazing how different these beers taste from one another. Do you like this one? After this one, no. This one's just got so much flavor going on, it's hard to beat. Yeah. All right, so I got my Golden Monkey, as y'all saw, and Elisa decided to go ahead and get her Angry Orchard. This is my first drink of the freeze. We all know what Angry Orchard is, right? Apple yeah. juice with alcohol. <laughs> it's a hard cider. And carbonation. But I've tried them. They're really good. I like them. Yeah, and that's all that matters because I like that you like a drinky drink. A drinky drink. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to drink beer, but I will sit here at a brew house and have a cider with Jason. As long as they have cider, I am good to go. Yay for the whole team. Yep, you know what's cool? That's the district brew house. Down that way is my room. That's super cool. All right, so we are gonna have dinner tonight here at Teppanyaki for the first time tonight. Elisa is here with our host agency, Travel Quest, and uh, we get to have dinner here for the first time. So here we go. Okay, here's the menu at Teppanyaki. What can include in the grill? They have some signature cocktails, soup and salad, and then you choose your entree. And everything comes with fried rice, vegetables, and dipping sauce. So you're just going to choose your combination of meats and vegetables for a two meat combination. And then you can get dessert. Which we're getting the fresh fruit sashimi. I love sashimi. Well, this is fruit sashimi. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So that's gonna be interesting. What kind of meat did you get? I got the uh, filet mignon and jumbo shrimp, cooked medium rare. I got the chicken breast and jumbo shrimp. I can't wait. It's what's recommended right here, actually. I, and she calls it the asuku. It's the filet mignon with the jumbo shrimp. That's what I got. Is that what she got? Oh! <laughs> so our miso soup has arrived. I know you're the soup guy. How is it? You don't like it. When you push it away. I've never been a fan of miso soup. Yeah, when you pushed it away, I knew you didn't like it. I've never been a fan of miso soup. How's the Japanese beer? Very good. This well, is very good. Show us what kind of beer it is. This is uh, Sakaro. Premium beer. Um, it's very, very good. A lot of full flavor. Um, I'm really enjoying this beer. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Here. So fresh off the grill, our man over here is slinging it to perfection. And this is perfectly cooked filet mignon. I just had a bite and it melts in your mouth. Mm. I got some steak to try too. Super tender. Super tender. I'm gonna go home and be so ruined after two weeks of all this. Oh, I am. So next on deck, we got the uh, calamari. Look at it smoking, piping hot. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm not a big fan of this stuff, but I'm gonna try it because try it. the way he cooked his meat, man, I'm gonna have to try this the calamari. Right. So, here we go. I'm supposed to dip it. I messed up. I don't know that. This is the We're gonna try it again. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to dip it. A little better. Same texture though. Anything else from the beer? Hello, friend. Okay, we've this got is one for me and one for uh, our friend here. All right, guys. Yeah. My friend here, what's his name? I don't know. But he did a really fantastic job making the duck farts here at the Malting Whiskey's Bar. There you go. <laughs> So, Good night, Miami. Good night, Miami. <laughs> now look, if you sip it, if you don't knock it all the way back, it takes like a duck's ass. <laughs> but if you, if it's quack quack, knock that shit back. <laughs> <laughs> I drink uh, whey rust and it's a lot, but it's a little and then just a beer and a little bit of cream. So pretty much a black Russian with a splash of cream. Got it. Yeah, that's what that. I'm, so that's my cup of tea. Right? Yeah, white Russians, Colorado Bulldogs, that whole kind of white creamy sweet. I love that stuff too. All right, time to head into the Cavern Club. See if we can get a seat. Oh, it's full already.